Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a CybeSafe nudge for Slack, Teams, email, mobile, and push notifications. So from your CybeSafe dashboard, you would just go into respond and click on behavior nudges. And this will take you to your full report and list of nudges. We don't have any set up yet, but this is where you would see the full list and you can filter on various different, um, in very on depending on the status, the prompt type, the author, etc. So you can apply those filters there. But for now, I'm just going to create a new nudge. So if I press create, I'll be taken to build a nudge from scratch. And I'll take you through this full process now. So for this, I'm just going to call it the test campaign. And I, if I'm looking to target a specific security behavior, I can do that here. So I can select the different security behaviors we have listed here. Or if you want to filter, look for your own content or CybeSafe content, you can do that here as well. Um, for now, I'm just going to press one of our new templates here around device um, uh, updating workplace devices. And if you press on the drop down, you can see all of the oops, sorry, all of the details for that specific template. So you can see the title, you can see the content of the message, and so this is exactly what an end user will receive. And you can see the security behaviors. You don't this the user won't know about this, but this of course helps you with enabling different security or behavior change campaigns. So now that I've selected my template, I'll just press next. And once I get to the rules page, this is where I can select filter down the specific people that will be receiving the nudge so I don't have to send this to everyone. I can pick specific groups. I can pick behaviors based. I can filter it down based on behavior scores, course progress, uh, specific emails, last logins. There's so many different filters and um, it really helps you narrow down the use case that you want for your nudge. So you can only, for example, target people that aren't completing their training or congratulate people that have completed their training. Um, target users that have a high risk score, low risk score, high phishing percentage, low phishing percentage, all of this. So there's really a number of different use cases. And when you're selecting different, um, different users, you'll see the number of recipients, uh, estimated recipients change down here. So you'll see who the nudge will actually go to, which is great. So you won't ever send it to more than you expect or less. If we go into the schedule or into the next step, you'll see the scheduling option. So this is where you can choose when your nudge is gonna go out and how often. So you can just press a date and time and send a one-off campaign, or you can select a schedule so you can have it repeat on whatever schedule you would like here. Fully customizable. Um, so any options you're looking for should be available here. And the next item here is the delivery method. So this is where you choose where your nudge is actually gonna go. So we have an email option, push notification, Microsoft and Slack integrations, which we haven't set up with this demo account yet. So you'll be clearly, that will clearly indicate that you haven't set it up if you haven't. And all you have to do is select the channels that you want your nudges to go to. And if you press next, you'll see a full review. So you'll see exactly the template that's going out, which security behaviors, what the schedule is and where it's going. And from there, all you have to do is press create and your nudge will run. And that's how we build a nudge for CybeSafe and send it to all of our different delivery channels.